What it do, YouTube? It's your boy Eyes and Ears Tactical. Uh, back over here again, another video, man. Hope everybody's having a great summer. I mean, we're in August already, man. Years flying by, man. If you're already here, go ahead and like the video for your boy. You know, and uh, if you're new to the channel, drop a subscription. It doesn't cost you anything, man. You, you're just helping out a brother just trying to spread some good two-way uh, content to the world. You know, it's all about safety and respect for others and, uh, you know, protecting everybody over here, man. We ain't, about, ain't no hate, ain't no violence over here. So, man, what I'm here for is I was watching a YouTuber uh, the other day and he was talking about some modifications, accessories, and upgrades. And he was kind of all over the place, you know, you know, the cool brother. I don't, I don't even know. I just saw his channel. But I thought I'm going to go ahead and clean up a little bit and break down those three categories, modifications, accessories, and upgrades. So I was going to go ahead and break that down. I'm going to get right up into it. So let's start off at the top, man. What is a mod? What is a mod? What is a mod? A modification is when you take a pistol. I got my Glock 23 broke now, and you change it from its original format. So, for example, here's a Glock 34. I shaved down the trigger guard. That's a mod, okay? It's, this is a Gen 3, and it comes with finger grooves, and I shaved those off. That's a mod. So that's two great examples of a modification right there, okay? That is a perfect example of modification, taking the gun from its original form and then changing it. So that's real simple. That's the best I can do for a modification, man. That, that, that's a great example for a modification. Uh, let's talk about upgrades, which is where gun manufacturers make a ton of money on upgrades because all you're doing is selling stuff that already exists on the OEM factory pistol or rifle. And now you're going to sell parts that you believe that would enhance those parts and make that rifle or pistol better. And a Glock 34 is a great example because this comes stock like this, but they come with upgraded parts that they don't give you in their regular Glock pistol. So, for example, on the, on the Glock 34, you get extended slide stop, extended takedown pin. You get extended mag release, even though I took it off and put an OEM on there because I'm left-handed. I told you guys about that, and it kind of it was biting into my hand. And I did buy the chrome ones, but they come with the same extension, so that's not really an upgrade because it already came up great i'm just buying chrome to make it make it more decor i guess so so if you change these out to extend it if they versus these are just standard then that would be considered upgrade because this is how glock sends it normally out of the factory with these pins and controls these are upgraded already but i've upgraded it again by buying chrome so i have the black versions of all this stuff you know the slide plate see this uh see it comes with a standard slide plate and we'll get into that later. We're talking about upgrades. So so those are your upgrades right there. Okay. Another thing would be an upgrade would be the sights. Because they come with standard sights. But these are true gold uh night sights. So that's an upgrade. Whereas the Glock 34, it came with standard sights too, but uh the back ones had an elevation and windage. But I put the uh fiber optic warren tactical in the front and the the blackout rear uh, warren tactical. So that would be an upgrade. If you change the sights, that would be an upgrade because they come with sights. So that's an upgrade. Uh, uh, what else? So example, uh, I put the tungsten steel guide rods on all my pistols. So those are upgrades because they come with a standard plastic guide rod that will do the job just fine. Just for the record, never heard anything, no problem with it. And I put tungsten steel guide rods in there. So that's an upgrade. Uh, what else? Uh, inside of here, there's a the connector. This is the connector right here. And this comes with a upgraded connector. So if you put a new connector in there, that would be an upgrade because it comes with an upgrade. If you put a trigger in, that would be an upgrade. Okay. Trigger be upgrade. This would be an upgrade because it comes with those parts. Tungsten guide rod be an upgrade. However, sights would be an upgrade also because it comes with sights. Now, so let's talk about accessories. Uh, that's where they make a shit ton of money on that too. So, oh, one more thing would be the uh, upgrade. For example, you see, I got talon grips on both of these pistols. Um, just to let you know, this comes with grip. It's just not the greatest grip. So if you put talon grips on there or something like that, that's an upgrade. Gripping, gripping and stippling would be an upgrade because it already comes with grip, but you just don't like it. So you're going to make it better. So th that would be an upgrade too. Uh, so let's talk about, uh, accessories. That's where they make a ton of money at. So clearly a light would be an accessory. That's why they give you a rail. So you can mount your light, laser, combo, whatever you want on there. So 
that's a clear accessory to make a shit ton of money on these. These lights, are, by the way, they're all overpriced in my opinion, charging $100, $200 for a damn light. Man, get out of here. Yeah, those, those are all over overpriced in my opinion. There ain't no reason why no damn weapons light should be $160. That's just ridiculous to me. But that's how they make money, man. They make money on those accessories. So that would be an accessory. Uh, if you put a red dot on here, that would be an accessory. Uh, let's see here. Uh, this this uh, plus zero base plate that I put on here because it has a little weight. So when you drop it in mag, it, it flies out a little faster. That's the concept behind that. So that would be an accessory because you don't need that. Because you it comes standard and it works fine, even though it's the 40 mag, but so you just slide that plate over there and it gives you a little more weight. So that would be an accessory too. And they make a lot of money on that. Uh this this uh, Dawson Precision um flare magwell. This 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 right here is an accessory. They make a lot of money on these too. You know, flare magwells they make a lot of money on those. So that's an accessory. This base plate is an accessory. You can call it an upgrade because it comes with a standard black base plate, but it ain't making it better. So that's in between a upgrade and an accessory, in my opinion, because it doesn't do anything. It's just color. So that would probably just be an, uh, I don't know, man. I, I, I want to say accessory, but it's probably going to be an upgrade because because you're taking it, you, you already have one and you just putting another one on that you like better. So so that's what I got, man. That, that, that's, those are some, some great examples between the modification Shaving the trigger guard down, shaving off the, uh, the finger grooves because you know the Glock Gen 3s come with finger grooves. I will be having these taken off, and you see, I shaved them off. So that's a clear modification, you know, accessories, red dots, things of that nature. If you was going to get a mass grade barrel, that would be considered an upgrade. If you cut the slide, that would be a modification because this slide came like this. So if you cut it or do anything to it, now you modified it. Whereas if it's bought like that, that's just the way it is. Okay. So if you bought a whole new slide with slice or serrations on here and all that, then that would be an upgrade. If it looked exactly the same as this one, but if it's different, it's going to be a uh, modification if you do it yourself. So those are the examples I got, man, for modifications, accessories. I hope somebody learned something. If not, if I'm wrong, man, go ahead and correct me in the comment box. I ain't tripping. I saw you learn. But that's what my, uh, that's my three definitions of a modification, upgrade, and then accessory. So just be mindful of that. And that's how they make a lot of money on accessories and upgrades. You know, modifications, usually guys who know about guns, you know, guys who work at Sonoran Desert Institute, stuff like that. They know how to modify a lot of stuff. Johnny Glock, he modifies a lot of stuff. So he's a king of modifying Johnny Glock, whereas Hickok 45 is more standard OEM. So there's an example, guys, you know, don't get confused with your accessories. I mean, with your accessories from your modifications to your uh, to your upgrades. Uh, a little bit of difference there, and you'll see the price. It's ridiculous when you get to the accessory because they just charge a bunch of money for something that you already have on the gun already. And then presumably that's going to make it perform better. But that's what I got, man. Uh, your boy Eyes and Ears Tactical. Like, comment, subscribe. Keep viewing the channel. Keep hitting the like button. Help me grow the channel. Help me keep spreading positive two-way uh, content to the, to the world. And let's keep this thing going, man. Small gun tuber takeover, man. Everybody stay blessed. Stay blessed. Stay blessed. Stay, blessed, stay safe. And definitely uh, be mindful of how you move about when you're out in the world. Everybody stay up. Peace.